I'm definitely most fearful of my hair getting damaged. I've worked really hard not to have heat damage or anything like that, so I really just want to keep my hair healthy throughout bleaching. Hi, I'm Nicole, and today I'm getting blonde curls. I've tried so many different hairstyles throughout my life. Growing up, my mom was always braiding my hair. I started doing my own hair in high school, then college. I've done a lot of protective styles. I used to just do wigs on my hair, and I'm just now starting to experiment with color. Now I'm really trying to style my natural hair and embrace a real style. I am a freelance graphic designer and illustrator. I've been having a lot of Zoom calls with clients. That means I'm looking at myself in the screen. I definitely want to change up my look. Hi, I'm Melena Rose. I work at l and Femco Fear in West Hollywood, California. Hi, my name is Felicity and I am a curly haired specialist at l and I have been doing hair for about 12 years now. My specialty in hair is color, all kinds of color. I love working with different textures. Every time that I get a curly client, a color outcome is always gonna be different no matter what. Today on Nicole, we are taking her pretty much a full blonde. We're doing a little bit of dimension, but a lot of bright blondes, um, honey warm colors to complement her skin tone. Hi Nicole, I'm Elena. I'm so excited to meet you. How are you? I'm so excited, thank you. Good. This is Felicity, she's my assistant. She'll be helping us. Too. Hi, I'm so excited for you today. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what are we gonna do with your hair color? I really want blonde defined curls. I want to see some dimension, so like different yeah. curls, different volumes. You have some brassy pieces that will kind of get you out of that range. Some of the blonde I can really work with, but this is going to be great. Your skin tone's really warm, so I picture you with more of like a honey blonde. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, let's get started. Okay. First, we are going to cape Nicole so we don't get any color on her clothes. We're gonna section her from ear to ear forward and leave the whole back section. And we're going to start mixing her color. We are gonna start at the nape of the head and we are gonna work up the head in horizontal sections. We're gonna tease the hair and we are going to saturate the majority of every strand of hair on her head so that little hair is left out and she sees maximum blonde. We're also going to add classic highlights at her crown and around her face so that when she wears her hair natural and pulls it back, she sees a lot of blonde around her face and at the root. After all of Nicole's highlights are applied, we are going to let her process under heat if desired. I used five minutes of heat each section. We're gonna rinse when she reaches a pale yellow color. This can be done separately, just depending on how quickly the hair lifts, depending on where you start your application. Once everything is lifted to a pale yellow, you will take her to the shampoo bowl and rinse accordingly, and you will start detangling all that teasing that you just did. After everything is detangled, you can section into three sections like we applied the color initially. After Nicole is sectioned, I'm going to root her with seven and seven one. This is going to soften her highlights with her natural hair color but still keep them a little bit lighter than her natural so she stays maximum blonde. Her all over gloss is going to be a permanent color 10N with 15 volume. Why I'm doing this is to tone her natural up so this will break her base and make her brown appear a little bit lighter and it'll also tone her blonde so it's a little bit softer and not such a raw blonde. After the toner is applied, we will process for 10 minutes and then Felicity will take over and she will start diffusing and cutting Nicole's hair. First, I'm going to apply a nice leave-in deep conditioner so we get all the moisture in the hair and get the curls hydrated as much as possible. She'll stay under for 10 minutes. And then after that, we go through with a dry cut and I start to shape the curly hair because with curly hair, shape is everything. We go ahead and apply all of the styling products. We like to go through and really define each curl. After that, we start diffusing and drying. And after the client is completely 100% dry, we go through and 
start separating all of the curls and making sure they look good and fluffy and it's nice and volumized. We go through and take away the crunch that the gel kind of leaves behind with oil. And then we go through with a curl by curl cut to make sure everything falls in line and the shape looks good. Okay, are you ready to see your new hair? I'm so excited. All right, here's a big reveal. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I love it. I feel amazing. I feel beautiful. I, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it was so great seeing Nicole's reaction. That's the best part about the job, is just seeing how happy they are when they get what they've really wanted. I didn't even know what to expect when I was about to look in the mirror, but I was amazed when I did. This feels like a really big change for me. I've never gone this light and bright. This look definitely boosts my confidence. It's been a long time since I've had an actual haircut. I definitely learned about how to maintain my color and how to keep my curls healthy. Um, it's really about taking the time to listen to them and yet again, taking the time to define and you know have that process. Finding those right products that work for my hair type. It's my mission now. <laughs> For Nicole's look, she is really blonde, so keeping up with a toner maybe once a month is gonna really help with shine and integrity. Working with Nicole was amazing. She's so sweet, she was easygoing, and she really helped explain a lot of what she was looking for in her hair color. Hi, Mom. Hey. What do you think? It looks gorgeous. I love it. So, you know what's so funny is your hairstylist, because I follow her, she was posting stuff in her stories. <laughs> She's a stalker and I love it. <laughs> She's such a stalker. I feel like I made this change at the right time for me. I think this is a good transition and it will help me continue to level up. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here and to subscribe, click here.